It's about time. I've been talking about this for so long. I've been talking about this game. I think probably on the first day I started streaming, I, I, I mentioned this game. And it's been... I've been wanting to play it. And it's just such a great game. Wildermyth is just... It's, it's one that lives just like in my heart. Um, I spent some time getting... Uh, some of these characters ready. Uh, you might recognize a couple of them. Um, if you look close enough. And uh, we got one of them that was a submission by uh, Jackie Sedai. So thank you so much for the submission. Um, if you didn't know, you can submit characters for this game on the uh, on the Discord. Oh, yeah, I know. I was, I was contemplating whether or not we were going to have different music for this. But, uh, you know, it's it's just such good music in its own right, so we're, we're super happy for it. Um, let me make sure, I want to make sure I got things set up properly here. Let me, let me just, oh, oh boy. Um, uh, one thing I forgot to completely adjust for this. There we go. Look, there you go. You just floated to the top. Um, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna mess some stuff up. It's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty, be pretty wild. Um, and, uh, we got a Mr., a Mr. Douglas over here. Um, if, <laughs> you know, prying minds would probably figure this out, but, uh, it's our, it's our good boy, Mr. Falcon. Um, just, uh, just waiting, waiting in the wings. Um, I was unable to remove the mask that I put on his face, so it's just there. Um, I tried, I tried to remove it, it didn't work, and, uh, so it's just, it's there. Um, the, the eye mask was very intentional, so at least we got that. And, you know, it kind of works. Uh, yeah, so it's, we got a whole crew, um, everyone is hot-headed, so we're, we're in for quite a time, um, and for those who don't know, I'm gonna just be doing all the voices, um, so bear with me, I just try to keep up with all this. And I'm just going to be drinking lots of water, and I'm going to have to probably take lots of breaks for said water. So, uh, so just bear with me. Um, but it's a good time. I'm excited. This is just like storytelling. Uh, I love it. <sighs> okay, let's get into it. Let's go. Um, oh, we also have a ton of mods. So, uh, I'm just going to... If you want to know what those are, check out the Discord, um, and, you know, you'll see a lot of them just pop up. I mean, there, there's already a bunch of them right in front of your face right now, so let's just, let's just get started. I also got the other DLCs, so that's exciting. Okay. This book. There's room in it for another story. It's cold. I'm stuck here. Okay, now I gotta remember Jeannie's voice. Jeannie is Canadian. Okay. Alright, something a wanderer might find. Might find, and she, and oh boy, it's been a while since I did voices. <clears throat> and will she read it by the fire? And will she suddenly love me? Will she weep? Hmm. Yes. Then this would be the beginning. Here in our yandering country, something in the woods is very strange. Bothered only by a hole in his sock, 
A young man named Douglas takes the seasonal road to the town of Evercrag. Have to avoid Master Xander's window. He'll throw another pot at me. I mean, his son had it coming, though, didn't he? Want to get me in, into a barrel fight? I'll oblige. Simple as that. Breeze is light that day. Birds are timid. In fact, the whole world is taking a breath, ready to leap into the sea. I'm there already, huh? Oh, oh, I... Sometimes this punctuation, you'll, you'll see Douglas at Austin just has some interesting... Bless this man, he wrote everything. Not everything, but most things in this game. Um, but, oh boy. I'm there already, huh? Here's the hard part, getting Everlyn out of her house in a timely fashion. She'll have something ready to argue about. That ta that'll take all morning, and... Oh boy, we already know. That's... Smoke! Fluttering flames roost among the far-off rooftops. Douglas hurries towards town, thinking of Everlyn, a young woman who he's known since boyhood. Um... I think, I think they're going to be rivals. Um, I think they're going to be rivals. That's, is it the rivals or friendship is what I'm guessing, but I'm thinking rivals. It just feels right for them. Um, right? Yeah. Okay, we're doing rivals then. <sighs> Watch me worry and she's fine. Or maybe not so fine. Yeah. Hey, Everlyn, you here? Oh boy. Okay, yeah, we, we know. We know how to play this game. He thinks we have it played this game because I made a new profile for us to just start which I'm excited okay let's see keep moving um sure let's extinguish because that's a free action here and let's open the door huh fire didn't reach your house figures Everlyn open up you have to help you, you have help out here knock knock that idiot Everlyn why is no one the door unlocks Everlyn shoves it open. Yeah, you what's... Spare my door, you beast. Get inside, then. Hoop. Slam. Your bow. Yeah, there's things in the streets. You didn't see any? Like, monsters? I don't know. Got one trapped behind. Go! the house it it does seem like it is helpful dealing with the smoke they just rampaged in all of a sudden why not kill it right so here I've got some tool tools around look I know we're not best friends but we still find a reason to see each other can you help me fight, fight it off oh the rival dialogue <laughs> Um, let's see, what, what would Falcon take? I feel like Falcon would either grab a frying pan. I feel like he'd grab a frying pan. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Peach vibes for sure. Can I have the house if you die? If you don't mind me haunting you. Alright. Let's see, let's see. You go here. And open the door. And put you back here. And then you, we're gonna have you go like here. Okay, so we can attack from here. Cool. Go over here. Got it to be terrified, it seems. Can we attack from here, though? We can't attack from here. Okay, now, now we should be able to do this. And you, buddy, you get... Steal the kill, steal the kill, sir. Well, that was, that was not very hard. And we leveled, amazing. And Douglas got a chest suddenly. Um, yeah, he he is always kill stealing. It's true. Um, uh, head smash might be a good move for that. Um, Interesting. Galvanizing Aura seems good too, but Head Smash just feels right for for our Falcon Boy. And what do we give? What do we give? Oh my goodness, Everlyn's Everlyn's clothes are so wow. Look at her. The the mods. I have no idea what these mods are going to do. I haven't played with many of them, so we could ju we're could we in for all sorts of treats. Um, so Everlyn can be anything, I feel. Um, Ember Arrows is not a bad thing. Hidden Strike, what's that? Oh. That, okay, that feels right. It definitely knew how Everlyn would want to be dressed. It's, it's definitely... I feel like Hidden Strike is is the right move for for Everlane because that is she's like a stealth character. If you remember how it started, <laughs> she started out as a stealth like sniper gunner character. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna take Hidden Strike. Um, Ember arrows are also good, but. Oh, and Stormflint Cloak. I feel... Do we give that to... I feel like we give that to Falcon. I think we're giving it to Falcon. Yeah. That was... Already found a cloak so soon. That's amazing. The creature's death is quiet. It seems to slip from life in a few stunned, hazy blinks. Well, that was easier than I thought. Bring on the next one, right? They'll spend a piece of the day getting the flames under control. The damage isn't as bad as it could have been. Townsfolk emerge from hiding to fight fires and clear debris. Some full of curiosity, 
Others visibly haunted by what they've seen. Genie must already be waiting for us. I hate to say it, but we should both go. Genie? She's at that ruined tower by now. I'm thirsty. And this place is in rough shape. Others can take care of it, but Genie will be waiting for us. What happened today could be happening every everywhere, couldn't it? Something about that tower is just stuck in my mind. It's like when you get apple skin in your teeth. Is it really? Huh? Yeah. Anyway, I just think. We said we'd meet her, we should. The tower is in the hills. You've been there? Yeah, once. Actually looking at the tracks. They come and they go that direction. Douglas and Everlyn follow the pounded path of Monster's Feet, hoping for the best and dreading every other possibility. Hmm. Now, now I feel like Everlyn would be after Genie, but they could also be friends. But like, it wouldn't be exclusive. That's the thing. Um, and yeah, I think I think it would definitely happen. Um, so. <laughs> we know what you want, Jackie. Genie, you said you'd be fine. Don't make me call you a liar. <laughs> a wordless while passes between them, but the quiet only heightens their worry. You've been away. You you've been all. Ugh, oh my God, words. You've always been a little fond of her, I thought. Of Jeannie. You mean, I have? Oh. Is that true? I think it's hard not to be fond of her, isn't it? And it's like she knows it, too. And it just makes me feel all the more... Uh, twisty inside. Uh... Sorry. I, I just think she's pretty? And plus, it seems like... Uh, no matter where she goes, we tend to have adventures. <laughs> that was fast. Evelyn and Jeannie have fallen in love. It seemed a little one-sided at first, but, you know, we haven't heard from Jeannie at all. So, let's see. Um... Let's go over here. These are all new, new things. Okay, you can forge things, that's new. You can train your heroes in defense and in damage. That's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so we're gonna scout with all of them. Let's go. These mod I'm excited for these mods. The previous night. The tower where Jeannie had arranged the, to meet Douglas and Everlyn is a place she often used to escape to as a girl. Yeah, it certainly does. She knows its rooms and floors so well. She could survive being chased through them. And now I wait, I suppose. <coughs> Dusk gets deep as rain puddles in here. <laughs> alive is alive until the beast breaks th through. What do you think, beast? <laughs> Will she swoop in and save me? Or am I not pretty enough? The tower is an heirloom of an earlier people. The locals have lost the legend of it, 
maybe the boast of some long dead despot whose name had sunk into the river. But as the old will tell you, precious things go overlooked in a ruin. What lodges amidst the bones of failures, often to the dreams that drove to it. Oh my goodness, what are you... Douglas, what are you saying? What lodges amid the bones of failure is often the dream that drove it. The dream is also with the bones of failure. That's what he's saying. Okay. Okay, buddy. That book? Why have I never... <clears throat> Easy there. I guess you're wondering why I'm taking talking to myself, huh, beast? I'm also wondering. Genie bends to pull it loose. <laughs> the book's heavier than its slender spine suggests. Oh look, it's the, it's the title. The title's in the name. Amazing. Oh, and it's the name of this comic. Well, look at all this. It's full of strange stories. The folklore of folk long forgotten. The tyrant's medicine imparts no salient secrets. It's only a fairy tale about a dying empress. She swallows stars every month to calm her cancerous anger. The coin claw bear and the Benstrom fox is mostly a conversation between a miser miserly bear and a traveling fox. In the final sentence, the fox stamps the bear's soul into the coin and sends her around the world on the current of exchange. Papa Evercrag's horn spins the yarn of a father who drank so much and laughed so freely that he grew a beautiful spiral horn. His children were very proud. Jeannie reaches for the last word of the final tale. A few blank pages are left. This book. Something in her feels like it's coming loose, but she can't tell exactly what. There's room in it for another story. It's cold. I'm stuck here. Yes, and this would be the beginning. Here in our yandering country, Jeannie writes, words are ready. Omens have formed in the fabric of everything, and she's beginning to recognize it now. Some are just misgivings. They've crept through her body like the sourceless aches one wakes through. Others are more substantial. Now they seem lightning plain, a promise of thunder. Or in the wild black woods where birds once belled. A hateful silence churns. Pain lights Jeannie's head. Besides, I made it to the morning? She lowers her bleary eyes. Her story lies before her in luminous script. Empty pages have sprouted behind it. Why do I feel powerful? Um, I'm gonna say she takes the spoon. I always like a good wand. She pulls the spoon from her pocket. Open wide, beast. I'm getting out of here. All right. Let's do some magic stuff. Um, over here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, let's interfuse with that thingy. Interfuse with that. And let's 
steel fire. Boom. Um, and interfuse with what else? Interfuse with I'm thinking I'm thinking the wagon? Wagon. And splinter blast. Kaplow. Mystics are just so cool. They do cool stuff. Let's see. Okay, what now what would Genie have? This I'm not sure. Jackie, you're gonna have to help me with this one. Um It is interesting that they're constantly terrified. Um Let's see. I feel like I feel like Elementus is really good, but yeah, so there's new things that I have um, from mods, and it, they also might just be new, there also might just be new things that they've added from updates. Um, I haven't played in a while, and both things have happened since I've played, so. Um, I think let's start with Elementist and see what else we we get because um, Call Beast seems really um, like yeah exactly it doesn't seem like a great first ability is is I was trying to find a way to say that without using as many words but and we got this cloak. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, that's so cool. More monsters roam the ruined hall and rattle the rotting furniture. But Jeannie moves quietly, sensing her way in the dark. Daylight lands on her wrist. Cool wind soothes her tired eyes. It's still the same world. She closes the tower door, gentle, to make no noise. That was the mystic's art that I just did. Right, tower? Where I get where did I get that from? Could it have just happened? Is it just one of those things? Things a woman's born with, but that might blossom in her life when she needs them. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. My dear heroes happen that way. Genie! But what does this power mean? Am I a legend like Sarah Dukespear? Do I have to go reconfigure rivers? Genie, you're okay. You're okay? You look like it. Hey, Genie. Something happened? Mm, uh, Everlyn. You're here and you're safe. Good. Oh, sorry. And you too, Douglas. Why? Okay, my Genie is turning Irish and I'm, I gotta get back to Canadian somehow. <laughs> Me and this boulder I'm next to are only who only barely survived the, <laughs> she just called she just called falcon a boulder okay yeah see that smoke on the horizon that's from the town yeah that's Evercrag ah, we'll do the Irish if you want yeah it burned no 
Things are different than they were. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, that was the wrong voice. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know if you're ever seen something quite like it, like this. A monster? Sure we have. We slay monsters. We just killed one monster. Okay, well, I do magic. Um, okay, there's a fight to do here, it looks like. Um, cool, let's, let's, let's go. Let's do it. Falcon is brimming with confidence, and we do love that for him. Okay. Cool. I'm sick of talking. I'm going in. Don't follow me if you're scared. A perfect understanding isn't likely to emerge. What these beasts are, where they came from, what drove them to attack the town of Evercrag. But letting the nest here feel letting them nest here feels like the wrong idea. <laughs> Flatter sounds. <laughs> Unless you are really, you really are scared. Let's just pick a plan and go with it. Sure, Will. Um, let's see, let's go in with courage, I feel. Back at my house, it was pretty simple. Kill the beast before it kills you. We know, we know how to play this game. Um, and okay, who do we want? We want to have. I feel like let's have Genie go first. Yeah, Genie can get in the most. It looks like. And I feel like this is the most we need her to get in on. Yeah, we're going to have her. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely way too hot-headed. All of them are way too hot-headed. They're going to move here. And we're going to interfuse with... The fire or the stone? I feel like the stone. Stone's just really helpful. And we get a glimpse in. There doesn't seem anyone in there. So maybe we should have moved in a little faster. But that's what we did. We'll wait to finish up her turn before we send Douglas all the way in here. Um, you go here and silk step here. Yeah, okay, we're going in here like this. Now, who? Douglas. Let's go, buddy. Open the door, buddy. You go in. Just go in. There's still nobody in there? What difficulty are we playing on? I thought we were playing on, like, a, a difficult thing at all. At all? Any level of difficulty? Yeah, we're on a difficult... We're playing Tragic Hero. That's like not easy. That's that's like hard. That's not hard like the hardest difficulty, but that's like just below that. 
So I don't know why we're not seeing anyone just yet. But okay. We'll we'll take it. Um I wish we could move and then do a free move, but it doesn't seem like that is gonna happen. We could Okay, so Genie looks like she's got the most speed out of everyone. Um, let's interfuse with this. Okay. Go in. Oh my goodness, they're just all in the back room, I guess? Okay. Um, open the door. They're all there. Can, that can't really attack. Okay, so you move over. We, we need you to withdraw from these. And you go here. I guess we should have had you not do that. Oh, well. Well, oh boy. Oh, no. Um, Evelyn is going to be maimed. Okay. Her left leg destroyed. Her spirit threadbare. Evelyn offers up a desperate request to the battle gods. If I was ever going to ask them for a favor, now would be the time. Jeez. Okay. Word. Uh, you can keep the leg. Just help me get out of here. <laughs> yeah. I can't make it far. But if I could just get a friendly shadow. Sure enough, the shadows pull Everlyn in. Hiding her until the battle is over. Oh my goodness. So we're we're in for a rough time. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> we're in for a rough time. Her left leg destroyed. So much for these people being fast. Her spirit threadbare. Genie offers up a th desperate request to the battle gods. If I was ever going to ask them for a favor, now would be the time. Ugh. You can keep the leg. Just help me get out of here. Go, Genie. It's possible. I can't make it far, but if I could just get a friendly shadow, let's make it out of here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Um. So go here um and so we're gonna head smash this guy wait spend one action to move wait okay what's what's the head smash do Oh, it stuns you for two turns. Okay. Well, let's, um... Dear God. This is a bad, this is a bad situation. Um, we might just TPK. <laughs> Yeah, we, we just all got maimed. We all got our legs beat up. <laughs> Go team. Oh my goodness. Wow. Um, all right. Keep the leg. I can't make it far, but uh, we find, we found a bunch of friendly shadows. Uh, <laughs> I 
Uh, aren't you glad? Okay, the monster's too strong for us. We live to fight another day. That's what matters. After suffering a crushing defeat, our mortal... Um... Our morale was un understandably at a... Something. At a something. Um... It was then that we stumbled upon them, by chance. Look, a village ahead. Friend, friendlies? Waterlings. Beings blessed with the blood of a water spirit. Ah, uh, hello there. Please, our party is wounded and exhausted. May we rest here for a while? Although waterlings are an elusive species, as most tend to avoid hu human contact. Um, they still took us in, whether out of pity or kindness, we could still not tell. You are wounded and we have healers, but cast aside your arms before entering our village. And so we spend, spent days recovering and were acquainted, became acquainted with the water folk. I'm just gonna edit this live because <laughs> what you do. Um, we traded worldly knowledge and stories, secret fishing spots. Woo! Douglas even learned how to swim. One afternoon, this is a good spot. Very relaxing. Would even be more relaxing spent alone. Oh. What are you doing here, lady? I feel something and ominous in the waters. Ominous? Like a monster? Likely so. But you can relax now. Your lifeguard is here to protect you. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh. Get out of the water. There's a Gorgon. What? There's a Gorgon in the water. <laughs> oh. Whew. Thanks, lady. My name is Annabelle, by the way. Aren't you glad you had a waterling here to save you? I mean, I guess. You did just take down a Gorgon, in one hit no less. I've heard tales of your group, of Evercrag, and their many, many adventures. <laughs> Very well placed, Splash. <laughs> in my... In, I've lived my whole life stuck in this village, mastering the ways of the spear, in hopes that one day I could experience the outside world, make a name for myself. I see you don't have a waterling in your group. Take me with you, please. Hmm. Absolutely. Um. No adventuring group is complete without a waterling. This is Annabelle. She'll be joining us from here on out. Nice to meet you. Call me Anne. Sick. Well, that's cool. Uh, Jeannie is taken in a companion. She'll help any battle she takes part in. Okay, so Annabelle is not a character, but she is a companion. That's really cool. Okay, we, uh, we, we gotta get strong. Um, yeah, okay, we gotta, like, heal up, and I don't know, make some stuff, maybe? Um, let's see, um, our... Health? 
Um, oh, none of them can train right now. Because they're all healing. Okay, so... Cancel this. I guess... Let them heal up. There we go. Um... Now you should train... Jeannie should train her... We didn't really get to attack. And that was that was the main problem. Um, but I think regardless... Mm, she should train her spell damage. Oh, I see. You can only do one at a time. I see. Um, we could forge something. Okay, let's see. It wasn't an empty threat. You're not wrong. Um... How you doing, Sweeney? Um, what what do we want to have her make? Let's see. What? Oh, Jesus. Um, I don't want that. I think. Is there books? I think. Um. Let's... We don't want an offhand thing. I think what we want is... A be some better armor? Um... There's this armor. We don't have... We don't have the things for it though. Okay, so you have to spend... Stuff to... Okay. You have you have a point, Jackie. I did not see that. Um, cool. Okay. Um, then I guess we're gonna prepare defense while Jeannie finishes her training. Um, <laughs> well, if you pick it back up. There, they'll they'll be there. There'll be plenty of space for more heroes. Trust me on that. Cool. Okay, so Jeannie has finished her training in that. Definitely not too late. Cool. Her spell damage has been improved. That's okay. And we found something. Uh, it's a shield. I feel like we give that to give that to our boy. No one else really will be using a shield. It feels. Either that, or we salvage it. Let's salvage it. Um, and let's train defense. Let's train some health for both of these cool and put him in there too great now that everyone is healed up yeah let's let's work on getting stronger folks we're going to have we're going to have some some stuff to work on. 
Oh, that's cool. I'll have to check that out sometime. Uh, feel free to share their, uh, what should we call it? Their, their page, um, their, their channel. Um, this is better. Is this better than what I currently have? I feel like it's not. Um, so we salvage. And we train. I feel like we want to train our defense again. Let's do some more health. Let's do some more health. It might work for you because you're a mod. But if not, <laughs> I'm sure you can share it somewhere. Oh, I don't know if I have a shout out um, command that is set up, but I sh that's something I should set up. That is a good reminder. <laughs> I guess let's give this to who I want to give. I'm going to give this to Everlyn. It's the peg leg crew. We haven't even named ourselves yet. We haven't even named our crew yet because we lost the third battle, which is effectively like the first real battle. Oh my goodness. Um, okay. I wanted this to be difficult though, so here we are. Let's train all of our potency. Cool. And I'm hoping this will help. I mean, we're getting lots of improvements to things. Um, let's let's give that to our boy. The one knee that he has for the knee pad. Oh, God, they all have one knee. They all used to be adventurers, and they all took a leg off. I don't know, something to the knee. They lost the knee. Uh, the passionate peg legs. <laughs> I love that. Um, I think one more. What's what's your health looking at? Whoa! What is these are? These are interesting, huh? Stats at a glance. That's so nice. I love that. Yeah, we're going to do a little more health. Uh, let's train some, do some more health. Yeah, there's a lot of mods on this that like really just, oh man, dirty rags. Well, these improve Everlands, so yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Dirty rags. Um, I think train damage and one more potency. And this, this way, we're hopefully, hopefully not going to lose the next battle. Jeez. I don't know, though. This is hard. 
It does feel more right for Everlyn. She is a wastelander, after all. Um... Give that to Everlyn. One more potency. Yeah, it, it will take time. Um, and salvage that. Okay. Um, now let's let's do a save here, and let's try again. Let's let's do it. Oh boy. Okay. Um, we're gonna charge in. Cause that's just what we, that's, that's right. Um, wild folk hid, it hid and all, ugh. wild folk hid and all of Jade Spruce Forest was rattled when a storm of beasts overran Wavni Outlook. How will Evercrag set things right? Old summer feeling. Let's see another day. Let's charge in. Their charge scatters the foe. All right. Um. Okay. So now, Annabelle. Man. Um. The, you're not wrong, Genie. Not Genie. Sweeney. <laughs> the rhyme just made me Freudian slip. Um, she's got zealous leap. Let's freaking go, girl. Um, every other turn. Okay. All right, let's see. I feel like this time, now that we know that they're probably just waiting... In the last room, we're gonna we're gonna approach there accordingly. Last time they they got the jump on us by hiding in the last room, and and now now it's our turn. She's got aid too, Annabelle, girl. Why are you so good? Annabelle might be our best party member, and she's not even, a, like, a full-fledged party member. And we all, we all are a lot more tanky this time around. That's, that's gonna be a lot more helpful. Okay. So, Everlyn has a shot. Genie interfused with something. You can move here, here, and then interfuse with that, and then steal fire, and put it here. Sick. And that's what in investing our potency is gonna be. Oh yeah, okay, that, that was worth investments. Making these guys some just chump change. A bunch of a bunch of jumps. Um, and I'm gonna guardian and and take the shot. And it got them frightened. Sick. Um, what can Anne do? Anne, can you zealous leap over here? 
Frickin' take it. Yeah. Anne, Anne's great. Big fan of Anne. Oh, that's right. None of none of these guys can die again in this pass. Like they 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 can't do it in this. Like basically, Wildermyth is broken up into like eras, basically, or like ages. So we will get a, like a, a time of peace, and we basically need to not let our main party die again before that time happens otherwise they will die completely if we let them survive and then they like get knocked out again um on our next like on the next thing they'll be f they'll be like around still but they'll have lost another thing like an eye or a hand maybe um Everlyn? Yeah, if that's that's the that's the real thing. But they so we just need to make sure they last through this whatever you call it. Through this age. Um I'm gonna give that to I'm gonna give that to I think Everlyn. Everlyn? Genie. I'm getting it to Genie. Oh. That works really well. I didn't expect it was going to work as well as it does, but it does work really well. Great. The last misshapen creature folds its bones and dies. Blue fluids darken the dust. So calm accepting death. Not natural at all. Natural if you're suffering. <laughs> Freaking unhinged, man. Hey, look at us. Look what we did. Yeah. Day drops. Day rises. Dusk is sweet. The sunrise sweeter. It's not long before they've cleaned the old tower up a bit. Well, we'll be working on this place forever. I'm telling you. I always knew the morning would rise when I'd gaze into the sky and see a destiny for myself. A destiny to inspire song. Let's no wait let's not wait to be overrun. We're a company of heroes now. We'll walk of the land. We'll fight. People need us. We'll get our na ourselves a name and make sure it's the one thing they'll sing. Sounds like you thought about this. Oh boy. So, um, I feel like our name has to be something related to the fact that we all lost our legs. <laughs> um, I think I think Jackie had a good a good suggestion, but I don't I don't remember it. Um, but I think what what would what were they called? What were we gonna be called? We were gonna be called the something the 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 passionate peg legs. Yes. That, that's who we are. The passionate peg legs. Amazing. After that, the three of them are inseparable. Rumors are rampant. Heroes are needed. But the world will be flooded in sorrows. But its defenders are joined by a fire that night. Here follow the tales of passionate peg legs. Be remembered. <laughs> uh, okay, what a great start. 
I I love that. I love that we <laughs> we have a TPK on the first real battle. Oh god. This is going to be this is the first this is the first campaign. This is not even supposed to be that hard. I made it really hard. Um and it's it's going to be it's going to be a real thing. Um but uh I'm going to I'm going to take a little break for a second. I need to I need to be a human and and do things like that. But I'll I'll be back in a little bit and we're going to just going to continue on with the the wacky stories. <laughs> so I'll I'll see you in a little bit.